hey mini me hey what's going on guys welcome to episode 38 of black ops 3 mod tools now in this video i'm going to show you guys how to add a key card easter egg now when i say key card easter egg it's basically a key card that you're going to need to open up certain doors so uh if anything there's going to be a link in the video description where it's going to have a download of these files where it's going to say key card tutorial. So once you have that downloaded, you know, open that up. And then once you opened it up, you're going to be presented with a key card info text document and also some um, some prefabs and a model that I made for a key card. So basically this script only came with the script. It didn't come with a key card. It didn't come with any prefabs. So I figured I'd make the prefabs to make it easier on you guys. And I also made a model of a key card. You know, if you don't want to use what I have, if you go right to the bottom of the key card info, there's going to be a description on how to make the triggers and, you know, how to implement it into your script models and how to set it up on the door. But I already did that on the prefabs, so basically it's drop and go. All right, so let's open up your GSC. So we're gonna go over to Black Ops 3. You're gonna go into user maps. And you're gonna look for the map that you wanna implement this into. In my case, I'm gonna do it on ZM Testy. And you're gonna go to scripts. You're going to go to ZM and you're going to open up the GSC file for your map name. All right. Now you guys are probably wondering, it looks a little different from usual. That's because I actually added um, sublime. That way I could uh, start doing some scripting and start making uh, my own little custom scripts. Now, let me pop this to the side and let me open up that text document. And here it is. All right, so first things first. It's going to say, number one, put in main function. So we're going to grab this bit of code, copy that, and you're going to scroll down in your GSC file, and you're going to look for function main, which is right over here, function main. And then you want to put it right under ZM underscore user maps, double dot main. So Let's pop that in, make some space for it. Now, when I start adding a lot of scripts into my um, GSC file, I like to put uh, two slashes and I like to put what it is. That way, um, if I want to take it out later, it's, I don't have to go through a major hunt. So I'm going to paste it in right under there. Okay, that part is done. Now we're going to go to part two where it says put this at the bottom of your GSC file. So we're going to copy all of this, you know, and stop right before it says number three, copy this, scroll all the way down. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before, two slashes, and I'm going to call it what it is. So I know what it is later. And I'm going to paste it in right here. There we go. Now this part of the GSC file is done. So I'm going to hit file. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close that up. And the next part. Now, as far as a model for keys or a key card, there is none. So what I did was I actually made my own model for a key card. So I'm going to give you guys this. That way you could use it in your map. And I also made some prefabs. of the key card and I also made a prefab for a key card door so it's basically drop and go all right and you know here's the map source the model export and the source data which has the information for the key card so you're gonna have a brand new model all right so you wanna basically add this 
to your root folder of your um, Black Ops 3. So open up Black Ops 3. And then you're going to drop all this in there. Replace the files. Well, it's not going to tell you to replace it because you never had this before. But uh, just drag it over to your root folder. There you go. Now we're going to go over to the map in Radiant that you want to implement this to. There we go. Let me open up my map. All right, so now that we're in Radiant and we have the map open that we want to implement this into, uh, let me put in the key card first. So uh, just like regular, you want to hit B on the keyboard and bring up your entity browser. And you want to go over to MISC and you want to go to prefab. And you want to drop one in. Now, the first one we're going to put in is the key card itself. So we're going to go into ZM, ZM Custom Prefabs, and you're going to see a folder called Key Card. And it's going to be two prefabs. So we're going to put in this one, Key Card. Double click on that. There it is. Now you're going to have to move around and see where it's at. Me, I'm going to pop it in right here on top of the table. There we go. And let me bump that down. There we go. And hit escape. Now let me hit F9 so you guys can see what the key card looks like. Whoa, it's kind of stuck in there. Let me get it out. And there it is. Let me move it over so you guys can see what it says. That's the key card. It's not my best work, but you know, it's better than what we have in Radiant. So now that we have the key card in, let's add the door. So I'm going to go over here. And this is the door. We're going to add a, well, that's the frame that we're going to add a door to. So I'm going to go over to MISC, prefab again. I'm going to drop one in. And same as before, we're going to ZM, ZM custom prefabs, and key card. And now we're going to pick key card underscore door. Double click on that. And let's look for the model. There it is. Gonna line it up with my door frame. Now this box right over here, that's the trigger. So you want to make sure that's on the outside of your door, or at least the part you're gonna be entering. Bump this down. That's good. Hit escape, and there it is. Now, let's say if you don't want to use the door that I have, all you have to do is um, select the prefab. You're going to go into um, prefab, and then you're going to go into enter prefab, and you're going to select the door, and you're going to press N on the keyboard. That'll bring up the entity info. Now, as you can see, the door is a script model, and it also has some uh, script flag. So let's say if you don't want this door, all you have to do is just go over to model and click on the model name. Hit these three little dots right on the right. And then you can switch up the model. So let's say if you want to look for door, type it in. And here are all the doors that are in Radiant. So you can just look for the name that you want and then just go here and then double click it and it'll still stay with the, KV, the KVPs that I already put into it. So let's see uh, security door glass, double click on that. And as you can see, it switched up the door. And then you just align it the way you want it.
If anything, you can always just stamp the prefab and move it around if you can't really see it when you enter the prefab. But that's a easy way of switching up the door without having to rewrite all the KVPs. So let me back out. Leave this prefab. Now let's say if you want to put more than one door, you know, just select the prefab and then hit space park and then move it over to a different area. So now you're gonna have more than one door. You can do this as many times as you want. The only thing is you can only have one key card. So uh, be careful where you stash it because if you can't find it, you're assed out like fat chicken panties. All right. So I'm gonna pop this right here. It does not fit, but at least it's two doors in the map. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Now let's uh, save this. And let me compile it. And we'll be able to check it out in game. All right, guys, now that we're loaded up, as you can see, there's the door that we added. That was a prefab. If I walk up to it, it says a key is required to open the door. And let's go over here. There's the key card. And let's go over to the other door. And there we go. All right, cool. All right, let's pick it up and let's give it a go. All right, we got the key card. Pressing X to unlock the door. There we go. And here's the second one. Pressing X. There we go. As you can see, it works flawlessly. And you know, that's how you add a key card Easter egg. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.